today I'm going to show you how you can electronically sign a PDF file on your computer whether it be Windows or Mac. So it's actually really easy to electronically sign a PDF file. So the first thing we need to do is open up our internet browser and you want to click on the link in the description and it's going to take you to the Adobe Acrobat Reader download page. Now this software is basically going to allow you to open up PDF files and it's going to allow you to view them and edit them. And you could also send them off to other people directly within the software but today we're just going to be focusing on signing documents so what you want to do is go ahead and click on install now and obviously you can tick these boxes if you'd like but once you clicked install now you just want to go ahead and follow the installation process so once you've installed and opened up the adobe acrobat reader it's going to look something like this and it's going to prompt you to use the program as your default program for opening up PDF files, which I highly recommend doing. So make sure you do that. So once you've done that, we'll want to go ahead and open up the PDF file we want to sign. And to do this, we're going to go ahead and click on File at the top left. And we're going to go ahead and click on Open. And then we want to go ahead and open up the PDF file we want to sign. Now, when you open up the PDF file, it may look quite zoomed in like this. So to fix this, you want to click on the drop down menu at the top. You want to go ahead and click on 100% and it's going to zoom it out. So now we can view our document clearly, we want to go ahead and sign it. So to do this you want to go ahead and click on the icon on the right here and it's going to give you a drop down menu with a couple of options. So the first option is to use a previous signature that you've used or if you want to use a new signature you want to go ahead and click on add initials. Now once you've clicked on add initials a pop up box will appear like this and it's going to give you three options to sign the document. So the first option is what we're currently on now and that's to type your signature out and it's going to put it in a nice fancy handwriting. The second option is to draw your signature out and this is probably recommended if you're using a stylist to give you a more true and accurate signature as it can be quite hard on keyboard and mouse. And the third option is to use an image that you've already got so you can go ahead and select the signature and go ahead and open that up but I don't really recommend doing that. So just for the sake of this video, I'm going to go ahead and type out my initials just like so. And then you want to go ahead and click on apply. Now once you've applied your signature, you can move it around just like this. And you want to go ahead and place it wherever you'd like. So I'm going to place it on this dotted line here. And once you've placed it, it's going to allow you to readjust the size of it. So we're just going to make it look nice just like so. And you want to click off the signature so the box is no longer around it. And you want to take a good look at it and make sure it looks correct. So once you're happy with the electronic signature, you want to go ahead and export this PDF file with the signature applied. So to do this, we're going to go ahead and click on File again in the top left. And you want to go ahead and click on Save As. Now you want to select wherever you want to put this PDF file. So we're going to put it on our desktop here. And then you want to go ahead and call it wherever you want. So we're going to call it example signature one. Then you want to go ahead and click on save. Now that has successfully saved the PDF file with your signature applied. So when you go ahead and open up that PDF file, your signature will be successfully applied to that document. And that is all you need to do to electronically sign PDF files on your computer. So if this video is helpful, please leave a like and pass it on to someone who may find it helpful as well. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day.